Hi, my name is Christian Hernandez, your GitOps kingpin over at Acuity, and Argo CD version 2.14 is out. This version is packed full of new features and a multitude of bug fixes and security fixes. In this video, I'm going to be going over the top three new features that you need to look out for in Argo CD version 2.14. The first feature I want to talk about is the global sync timeout. This feature addresses issues where the sync uh, process gets stuck indefinitely, often due to resources failing to start properly and continuously retrying. You set this by setting the controller sync timeout seconds key to whatever you'd like. This is an upper limit. In this case, I've set mine 280 seconds. Um, you set this in the Argo CD command params config map. Here, I'm sending it to 180 seconds. Once I apply this, this now sets an upper limit for uh, syncs that are taking you know, too long. In my instance, I don't want any sync to take longer than 180 seconds. That is my upper limit, and that is going to be the timeout. And so when I look at my application here, when this takes effect, as soon as something is bad, it'll go ahead and, and has reached that upper limit. It'll go ahead and mark this application as degraded. So now a global timeout can be configured on the Argo CD controller to timeout long running sync operations. The next feature I want to go over is the new confirm option for your prune and delete operations in Argo CD. Starting in 2.14, you can annotate specific objects in order to provide a confirmation of deletion of those operations anytime a prune or a delete operation is requested by the user. So for example, I have this op, uh, application here that is being the source of truth is in Git, but I'm going to apply an out of band change. I have this config map here that is um, that I'm going to apply that I'm not going to have in Git. That's I'm going to apply here uh, directly out of band. And once I apply it, my application goes out of sync. This application is out of sync, and uh, but when I run a sync with the prune option this gets deleted. Now, this is not an option that you may want all the time, but in certain situations, it makes sense that you want a confirmation to happen before resources get deleted off your cluster. For example, if you have a persistent volume claim that deletes the storage in the backend, or if you have a namespace that you want to keep around. So now let's go back and this apply this manifest, but then let's do a prune equals confirm annotation on it. So, um, the prune equals confirm. So this annotation here, um, prune equals confirm, now will require me to um, confirm the deletion of this of this resources before it goes through. So let's do a sync. And then now here you see that there's a new warning. It says waiting for a pruning confirmation for this config map. So the pruning actually is not going to happen for this config map until I actually go ahead and go here and delete it manually. Now that that's deleted, um, the sync actually happens on the back end. So this, if this go apply this again, and let's apply the annotation of prune equals confirm. Now this is only happens for sync operations or any operations that does a pruning. But if I actually go here and actually delete this application, it'll actually delete the application along with that um, with that resource that I had annotated. So let's now let's apply this um, this application. So this application now here has um, let me apply the manifest has that resource. But now I'm going to have this different annotation. So now I'm going to actually annotate it with um, delete equals confirm. So now any delete operation I'm going to have to confirm this from uh, the UI here. So if I delete this. Now the delete operation is pending because it's requiring me to uh, to actually approve this deletion, right? So it is actually it wants me to confirm the deletion of this resource. Now that the now that I confirm the deletion of the resource, then the actual deletion operation actually happens. So you can these aren't mutually exclusive. So if you'd like, you can actually um, let's create this. Um, config map again, 
So now I can actually add multiple um, um, options here. You can have both conf uh, confirm equals true. I'm uh, sorry, delete equals confirm and also prune equals confirm. So you can actually have, as you see here, I have a delete equals confirm and a prune equals confirm. So I have both, right? So now, no matter what happens, this resource is going to require me to um, confirm the, the deletion of the resource here. It says, no, I, you know, you, you have to confirm the deletion. And even if I try to delete the application, it'll actually go into a pending state. So now I'm protected by someone accidentally deleting a resource when someone is performing either a prune operation or a delete operation in Argo CD. The last feature I want to talk about is the customization of server-side apply. Starting in Argo CD version 2.10, server-side apply was introduced as an option in order to apply the manifest to the cluster Argo CD is managing. This was to leverage the, the feature of server-side apply that was introduced into Kubernetes. Now you're able to customize in order if an, a specific resource needs to be server-side applied or if it doesn't need to be server-side applied. So for example, I have this application here that is set up with server-side apply. So if I look at the manifest here, you can see that I have a couple of sync options and one of them being server-side apply equals true meaning that every resource managed by this application gets server-side applied to the cluster. Starting at 2.14, you can actually customize this even further. So here you can set a global server-side apply equals true. So for this, every resource in this application, like I said before, gets server-side applied to the cluster. But now I have the ability to annotate this, um, this object with Everything except this object gets server-side applied. This gives you ultimate flexibility in order to what gets server-side applied and what doesn't, and you can mix and match these as well. So now when I do a sync here, everything gets server-side applied except for this deployment. As you can see, has a server-side applied option set to false. These are just some of the features that are available in Argo CD 2.14. We invite you to try it out. Let me know what you think and write it down in the comments. Thank you.